everyone. Thanks for joining me today. We're continuing on in our series for beginners. This series is aimed at those of you who are just starting on your photography journey and you want to know more about cameras, lenses, lighting, and all the other cool stuff that's out there in the world of photography. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you for coming. You can click on the subscribe button below to get videos every Monday and Thursday. If this is not your first time here, thank you for your continued support and I hope we can continue on this journey together. Now, one of the biggest questions I had when I was a beginner is what is a full frame camera? What is a cropped sensor camera? What's the difference and should I even care? So today I want to demystify that confusing topic for you. The basic difference between a full frame and a crop sensor camera is the size of the sensor itself. In a full frame camera, the sensor is much larger than the sensor that you find in a crop sensor camera. So if you go way back to the beginning when cameras were invented and people were using film cameras, the original film cameras were full frame cameras compared to our digital cameras today. But with technology and the improvements in technology, manufacturers found that they could make cameras with smaller sensors and still get good image quality. So that's how the crop sensor was born. So what this means for us here now today is that if you have a full frame camera, let's say this is the size of your sensor, but if you have a crop sensor camera, your sensor is probably 20% or 30% smaller than the one in a full frame camera. Essentially, it's like if you're watching this video in 720p versus if you're watching the same video in 1080p. Using a full frame camera is like watching this video in 1080p, whereas a crop sensor is like watching this video in 720p. I hope that makes it a bit more clear to you. The next major difference between full frame and crop sensor cameras is the cost. So it costs manufacturers a lot more money to make a sensor for a full frame camera than a cropped sensor. So you'll find that full frame cameras often cost thousands of dollars, whereas crop sensor cameras can be a thousand dollars and under. For example, my first camera, which you can find the link for in the description box, was the Nikon D7000 and right now it goes for about $500 on Amazon compared to the camera that I use now, which is a Nikon D750, that goes for almost $2,000 on Amazon. So there's a really big price difference. As always, I'll provide links to any gear I talk about in this video in the description box below. The third difference between cropped and full frame cameras is that the lenses you can use on each are different. So these lenses designed specifically for full frame cameras and there's lenses that can work on both full frame and cropped sensor. If you have a crop sensor camera, you can actually use the whole range of lenses produced by Canon, Nikon, or whatever manufacturer you use. Whereas if you have a full frame camera, you can only use the lenses that are clearly specifically made for full frame cameras. If you try and use a lens for a crop sensor camera on a full frame camera, when you look through the viewfinder in your camera, you're going to see a square and that will tell you what part of the image is going to show through the lens and which part you'll have to exclude. Essentially what this means is if you try and put a lens designed for a crop sensor camera on a full frame camera, when you look through the viewfinder, you're going to see a rectangle that's a very thick, bold like line around and it's going to tell you the part of the sensor that will record the image. You'll notice that it won't be the full sensor that will capture the image because the lens is only designed for a portion of your full frame sensor. I hope that makes sense. So let me be clear with that because it can be a bit confusing. If you're using a full frame camera, you can only use lenses designed for full frame cameras. But if you're using a cropped sensor camera, you can use any lens, those for both cropped and for full frame cameras. And that brings me to the third difference between these two types of cameras. So lenses were designed using the old cameras as a reference point and the old cameras are like our full frame cameras today. So when you put a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, it's a 50 millimeter. But if you put a 50 millimeter on a camera that is a crop sensor, it zooms into the image more than it would on a full frame. So that image is now not shot with a 50 millimeter lens, but the lens becomes a 75 millimeter. To reiterate, if you use a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, it's going to be 50 millimeters. But on a crop sensor camera, it will be the equivalent of using a 75 millimeter lens 
on a full frame so the crop sensor zooms in making the lens longer than it actually is physically so let's say I want to get the perspective of a 50 millimeter using my crop sensor camera what lens should I use you should actually use a 35 millimeter lens on your crop sensor if you want the same view that a 50 millimeter would give you on a full frame so on a crop sensor camera any lens you use will be zoomed in more than it would be on a full frame camera the fourth difference between these two types of cameras is when it comes to blowing up images so if you're making prints of your images with a full frame because the sensor is bigger therefore it can store a lot more information it allows you to zoom in more times into an image while the image stays sharp than an image shot with a crop sensor camera in print terms, that means that the size of the prints I can make with my full frame camera can be a lot bigger than the sizes I can print with my cropped sensor while retaining sharpness. So images that you see on billboards, on the, size of, on the sides of buildings, stretched on buses, those are often shot with a full frame camera because they know they're going to make the image larger than life. So you need as much data as possible in your image to allow you to blow it up to those really big sizes. So what camera should I use? Should I use a full frame? Should I use a crop sensor? That question is actually answered by what you want to do with your gear or what kind of photography you're interested in. It depends on how much money you have, so budget is a big factor. Both of them do perform well. However, if you're going to be constantly shooting in very low light situations, full frame cameras perform better in low light. Because the sensor is bigger, it has more space to absorb the little light that might be available compared to a cropped sensor. The second thing to consider is depth of field. Full frame cameras have a deeper depth of field than a crop sensor camera with the exact same lens and with the exact same settings. Again, this is because of the difference in the sensor size. So if you're into things like macro photography, maybe you want to consider full frame so you can get a really nice depth of field going in your images. For those of you who are worried about the price of a full frame camera versus a crop sensor, don't worry too much about it. I couldn't afford a camera that was thousands of dollars for many years at the beginning of my career and I actually shot with my Nikon D7000 for a solid 5 or 6 years before I could afford to upgrade to a full frame camera. So crop sensor cameras do work well, with the improvements in technology they work really well so don't feel the pressure to upgrade too quickly. Just to mention, this is a very basic overview of cropped sensor cameras versus full frame cameras. There's a lot more to talk about and maybe at some time in the future I'll do other videos about that. But for now, I just wanted to give you guys the basics. I hope that video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or need any clarifications, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're a professional photographer, I would love to have your voice in the conversation. You can tell us what your favorite full frame or crop sensor camera is and why. And you can tell us what you actually use now um, for what kind of photography you do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If it was your first time on this channel, please hit the subscription button below to get videos every Monday and Thursday, especially for this beginner series. If it's not your first time here, I do hope you learned a lot from this video and I look forward to walking this journey with you. Any gear that was mentioned in this video is listed in the description box below so you know where to get it from. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.